Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Eugene's Play. So I have something new here, another big one in terms of print. So this is actually an Adigran of Galactus art print from Saiju Collectibles. So I am very excited about this one because it's supposedly already be shipped long time ago. Uh, this is a frame version, that's why it's quite big. Uh, because I've already seen some guys, some collectors having this already showing the pictures uh, when they when it already arrived uh, but for me it didn't at least the frame ones I also didn't see anyone um, showing off the frame versions uh, but okay nonetheless it's here I'm very excited to open it up because I really think I'm an, I am also an Adi Granum fan I love his work so that's why I, I'm an also a fan of Galactus so that's why I really have this frame so let's try to unbox this thing so let's try to open it and box this one but I have noticed something it seems like customs or whoever did this opened it because it seems like the the staples um, have already been like removed uh, and they just did uh, like a patch up like a, a, a tape here so maybe I can just cut off the tape uh, regarding this one so one tip actually is Every time I open this, I always be, try to be careful because of these staples, these big staples. Um, because at some point, I got caught by this, like when I ripped it apart, and it actually hit my, my hand, and it, I, yeah, basically it was bleeding that bad. Uh, but good thing for this one, it seems like they opened it, like I said, uh, but they did not remove this out. I think they just checked it. Um, I hope nothing happened for the print itself, so let's see. Let me try to get this out from the other the other box right here. So as for the other box, um, like uh, this one, there's actually, and I'm not sure it's still called a box, but a cover, I would say. Let me get it out. Um, so it's actually not that complicated to unbox this stuff. Let's put this one here. Um, so there is this other, let's say, cover as well. And yeah, I, I would say Slideshow really did an extra effort on securing your art prints, especially the framed ones. Um, I wouldn't say the Slideshow frames are really that high quality, but at least it's good enough, I would say. Um, yeah, anyway, the, the print itself is not too expensive the, not the the very expensive ones but at least they did some good job in terms of keeping the 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 cost down as well I would say so there is also another one like a bubble wrap so it's really well protected so that's amazing so the, look how many boxes I have right now so this is the print itself look at that very nicely wrapped so I always before I always had a hard time trying to figure out how this works but so that you wouldn't you don't need to uh, somehow like tear it all apart so there's actually an, uh, a tape right here so that all you you can see so you can just remove this one and then there's actually another rolled part here so let me show you guys a bit closer so from this angle you can easily see that there is somehow like a, a part here where the the fold has been taped so you can just easily remove this you don't actually need the I would say the the cutter um, just remove it directly like that one and you can easily see or figure out the this one this part right here so once you got that so this the reason why I get the cutter sometimes because it gets sometimes a bit messy um, like for example this part here so this is very hard so I just cut it why I want to save this bubble wrap because sometimes here especially in Singapore we move I move basically constantly and sometimes I need this bubble wrap so that's why I need to save it as well uh, unfortunately um, let me remove this part here as well also so this is the this is the only part where I always use the cutter 
for the bubble wraps because sometimes this, the, the tapes are too long. Just to remove that and easily you would get, um, I would say, be able to get or free the frame itself from the bubble wraps. Look at that. Let me get this out. Look how beautiful that is. All well protected in all corners as well. So let me show you. And still, there is still like a, how would say a um, corners or I don't know the cardboard corners to protect it. So hold on, let me try to remove the tape, uh, the the plastic as well. So in here, it's quite simple. It's actually this one. Um, but I'm already excited. I want to tear it all apart. So just remove that. This one as well. So you can easily see it. There you go, see? It's actually quite easy, but sometimes, the, again, the, the tapes are, I would say, very nicely or hardly done. Um, and then sometimes you just have to rip it apart or cut it. But either way, again, I'm very excited to open this because this hasn't arrived for quite some time. There you go. There you go. Looks absolutely good. I love it. There you go. So this is your Sideshow Galactus. So it's a it's quite a bit messy, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, but like I said, uh, some of the parts or the the, uh, the covers, uh, the plastic, I also save like this one, especially now because I have so many frame art that sometimes I also need to put it aside. Uh, just put it in the collection room, uh, not really hanging. Uh, so I kind of now recently saving some of these plastics here. And most of the time I save the bubble wraps for like, um, how would say moving out. So this is uh, the... The frame itself, the artwork, look at that, look how beautiful that is, sorry for the reflection, uh, but either way, he looks amazing, so let me try to um, fix the, the area up, and yeah, the, I'll showcase you what this guy is all about. So before I'm digging out on this artwork, I have, I'm also trying to figure out how or where, I basically, where to place it. So I'm also thinking to put it here next to Iron Man. Um, I just love showcasing my new artwork in in my gallery. So it actually quite looked good. Look at this one. Uh, let me try to move it closer. Look at that. It looks pretty amazing, to be honest. Um, I mean, it, it looks good in here. Uh, but I also want other places. Like there's actually two places uh, I can hang them in the bedroom. So the other location is actually in here. As you can see the, the gallery, small mini gallery, it was out there. So the other one is in here, um, basically in, in the bedroom itself. Um, it doesn't feel quite right though. Um, I might not be putting it here, but this is one option for me. And the other one would be here, but still it doesn't feel quite right. Um, it's actually next to my Galactus there, my Galactus maquette, and I think I feel the wall is too big for him. Uh, I would say it's not that enough, and it's it seems like it's a bit high uh, in the wall as well, so I think I might not be placing it here as well. So I ended up, I or decided uh, to put it here in the mini gallery to showcase it uh, every time I walk around, some friends come in. They can see this one. Uh, now I already have more or less a, um, how do you call this, like a, a Marvel art collection, a mini art collection, I would say. So it's in already here, that's why I love it. And now let's go on for me geeking out, reviewing on this artwork right here. So um, I placed them here for to show you guys. And for me to enjoy uh, placing it finally, I, as I mentioned, I decided to be here in the living room to have uh, like a mini gallery. Uh, but okay, um, enough with that one. Now let's talk about the piece itself. This is actually 
pretty awesome but as awesome as this one there's a really bad thing about this and it's actually the edition size the edition size is a whopping 400 so uh, I think I mentioned this in previous um, art prints that I always prefer art prints Zikli art prints like this one's limited edition I really prefer like 200 300 is high already still acceptable but 400 above 300 is is very high already for me um, but either way this does not mean this is not good there is actually a canvas version of this one and it has only a 150 edition size if I remember it correctly uh, so do check out in the sideshow website and I leave the links down below so that you can check this print going into the piece itself this is a Addy Granub which is a variant cover of Spider-Man 2016 I think uh, Spider-Man 12 if I'm correct for the Fantastic Four villains thing um, that is just the the background or the, the the where the source material or source for this one but in terms of the design and everything I really love how Addy Granub incorporates it with this so if you don't know Addy Granub he has this he is also the one who helped design the Iron Man movies uh, I guess the first Iron Man if I remember it and the second something but again he always has uh, attention of those kind of like how would say uh, like a metallic or an armor those kind of armor so this it really shows in here uh, how good he is with regards to that one and I always love how somehow he incorporates like realism into his art so this looks very realistic in terms of person so you wouldn't see if there are no buildings you wouldn't see Galactus like too big uh, but since you know Galactus you know he's big but he looks very realistic he looks very human uh, in this sense the the musculature and everything he looks really human and I really love that with an incorporation of his armor his classic armor because I always love this kind of armor I've seen a lot of drawings uh, concept of Galactus wherein he has like too much armor and everything too much wires even I, I like this I, I prefer this kind of clean slick um, and more like I don't know uh, what kind of some kind of Aztec or something uh, but either way I love the colors also for this one um, very Galactus like and I really love the idea that there is like lightning in the back and also shows the composition where he is really that big with the, with the buildings and everything really phenomenal job by Adi Granov uh, one of my favorite parts of the piece is actually this part here uh, in the face part I really love that I always love the stoic look of Galactus and he really captured that one here it's like Galactus is like reaching out like that one that is phenomenal really really beautiful so I really love this that's why I have it frame because I have a Galactus piece and fortunately I tried as you've seen I tried putting it near the Galactus piece it doesn't make sense because the wall is too big for the frame itself and it needs a big frame there so I might not be putting it there I'll be placing it here so yeah uh, I think that's it for this one really enjoyed opening it uh, I hope you learned also how to open the or unbox the framing box from Sideshow without tearing it apart I hope you learned something regarding that one. I tried so many times to make to perfect that. Um, recently, I guess I have at least. So anyway, thank you for watching. This is Inchen's Place. So keep in touch. If you have not subscribed, subscribe so you get this notifications for my new videos weekly.